Sarah, thank you for joining us. It's great to have you here. TV and video convergence. Now, obviously a lot of business implications, but from your perspective, what's that big opportunity? I think the big opportunity for TV and video convergence really lies in the ability to offer addressable advertising across linear television. So taking the precision targeting that we've been delivering in digital for years and then rolling that out across all screens, including linear, I think really is the big picture opportunity. Sarah, tell us, is TV becoming more like digital or is it the other way around? Um, I get asked that a lot actually. So whilst I think that you know, television needs to borrow a lot from digital in terms of optimization, measurement and targeting, you know, television advertising is still 20 times the size of online video. And if we're really going to be able to deliver scale across this, we need to have a better understanding of the infrastructure systems that television is using, as well as the way that TV is traded, optimised and executed. Convergence. It's the biggest efficiency play that we could potentially have. We've got to get it right. How do we do that? Um, I think convergence can offer great efficiencies for both broadcast and media owners and also agencies and advertisers. But really, when we think about true ad convergence, we think about it and approach it in three different ways. So the first is about technology. So figuring out how digital technology and television technology talk to each other and work. That's a really big piece. Um, how ads are delivered in digital is extremely different in television. You have the real-time component from digital. That's not the case in television. So understanding how those two can complement and work together from a logistics point of view is really, really important. Um, secondly, I'd say data. So data in two parts, really, from a targeting point of view. So prior to any campaign running, understanding audiences and the value of those audiences across screens is really important. Uh, and secondly, from a measurement perspective, you know, we still don't have a robust way in Australia of understanding duplication of audiences across screens. So that really has to be figured out um, if we're going to be able to scale this in, in a true linear television sense. Um, and then finally, I'd say trading. Um, you know, there's from a trading perspective, there's still a lot of silos. You have digital trading and television trading, and even digital trading is, is kind of been siloed from real-time auction-based buying to upfront trading deals. So to, to deliver true ad convergence, you need to be able to look at all of these trading agreements holistically as opposed to running them in silos. And those, I would say, are the three key considerations to being able to deliver true uh, addressability and, and true media convergence. <coughs> Sarah, there's a lot of change happening in screen-based media. Can you tell us, what does this mean, firstly for the advertisers and agencies, and then the publishers? Um, from an advertiser and agency point of view, I think it's quite simple, really. It's about decreasing wastage. So understanding the value of audiences by using data, and then understanding where those audiences are, is really an opportunity for advertisers to maximise the value of their media spend, making their media spend work a lot harder for them, um, rather than duplicating audiences across multiple screens. Um, the opportunity, I think, for broadcasters and media owners is, you know, I've been talking to a lot of TV companies recently, and one of their biggest challenges is that they're sold out of prime time or certain, key, or certain key time slots. So, so really, for us, it's about understanding how can they increase revenue and yield optimization when they don't have any more media to sell in those time slots. Uh, and that's a really big piece for those guys. And likewise, in the areas that they're not sold out, how can they introduce an idea or, or more information about an audience that they can therefore increase the sell-through rate? So maybe in, in day parts that aren't so popular, unlike prime time. And those really, I think, are the key opportunities uh, for both advertisers and also media owners. True convergence. We know what that looks like at the end. But what do we need to do now? to get to that final end point? Uh, I think first of all, we need to be able to deliver this at scale. Uh, we've seen a lot of opportunities this year in Australia around the programmatic television space where television buying is becoming more automated, which is definitely you know, right step, a step in the right direction. Um, but really it's about delivering scale because if you're only delivering this across a very small portion of media or inventory, that's not going to do a significant amount for any particular client trying to sell product. So we really need to be thinking about how we can scale this across the market for this to be a feasible and viable opportunity for advertisers. Data is a really big piece as well, so understanding how we can deliver that measurement panel that looks at both digital and television together is going to be really key. 
Uh, and I also think that finally training, upskilling people um, in both agency and media owner land is going to be really key because I think right now it's been very much kept in silos or pockets of expertise in companies and it really needs to roll out across the entire business for this to become a scalable opportunity. Mm -hmm.